Hi guys, it's Rin from So In Love. I've had this book for a while now and I'm excited to finally share this video review with you. This Japanese sewing book is dedicated to projects made using a serger or an overlocker as we call it here in Australia. Let's take a look inside. First up is this basic t-shirt pattern and sewing tutorial. I really like this one because it taught me how to finish seams using a serger. I made this in a black and white heart print. It's just a simple t-shirt but you can really make it your own by choosing fun fabrics like this. Head on over to my blog to see more photos from this t-shirt project. Here are variations you can make to the basic t-shirt pattern. You can add ruffles, change the sleeves or add a collar. Dresses made from stretchy, neat fabrics are the most comfortable things you can wear, especially if you're six months pregnant like I am right now. I really like the look of this one, paired with cosy leggings. And speaking of leggings, this book teaches you how to make your own pair, as well as a matching camisole. Until I got this book, I had no idea you could make accessories with a serger. So here are some scarves and um, hair accessories. At the back of the book are all the instructions. Most of them include step-by-step -step photos. And here's the sewing patterns ready for you to trace. I've also made this striped top on the back cover. It's a shorter version made from Pontinit. Here's a pic from my Instagram at sewinlove. Both the t-shirts I've made from this book made it into my fall capsule wardrobe last year. You can read a bit more about this over on my blog, So In Love. This book is available in Japanese only. Um, there's a link in the description box below to the Amazon listing. If you'd like to find out a bit more about Japanese sewing patterns, check out my ebook, How to Sew Japanese Sewing Patterns. You can download a free sample over at www.japanesesewingpatterns.com. Thanks for watching and see you in my next video.